Hi, welcome to Told Us Love Tarot. This is going to be a collective message, so please let me know down in the comments how it resonates for you. If you're new here, I hope you like and subscribe. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. I hope you're doing well. We are at the very end of January 2024, heading into February. We are full-fledged Aquarius season. So <clears throat> I hope all is well for you during this air sign time. Um, I hope you check out the signs in your chart, your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or if you have a bunch of uh, one sign in your chart, you may find that those readings could resonate for you as well. By doing so, you're helping my channel grow. Your likes, your um, comments, they're all beneficial and helpful to my channel. So I really appreciate your support out there. All right, collective. <clears throat> As I was shuffling, and I usually do my best not to look at the cards, but obviously sometimes something happens and I'm a card will peek out at me. I saw the Two of Pentacles and I saw the Magician reversed. Oh, this just popped in my hand, so we're going to stop here. I feel like it was a feeling of um, someone not knowing what they want, but it's like um, holding back, like withholding, not being productive and creating or doing something because they don't, they're not sure if this is what they want. Um, the saying game recognizes game was like popping into my head as well. So this could be however that resonates for you. For me, it's when an individual recognizes the behaviors and actions in another person because they've done it themselves. <clears throat> You're recognizing what someone is doing. Um, I also got very different from that. Noticeable change. It could be in a situation, in someone's appearance, or in someone's actions or behavior. I feel like these were all positive things. I heard something looks better. It literally could be something that's created and handed and it looks better or it could be um an individual looking better literally physically or maybe in the figurative sense like somehow getting their shit together in whatever way and how it resonates and things are looking better and there's noticeable change Okay, the card, I'm worried we don't feel the same, just came out, was the popper. <clears throat> you make my blood boil. Tinder. Being taken advantage of. You turn me on. Lori Harvey energy. Ooh. Believe this, them. You got yourself a hater. Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Your ability to see through me, know when or if I'm lying, scares me. I'm getting a strong... Um, I'm getting a strong um, player energy, which would, could be the magician reversed and two of pentacles juggling. I'm getting a feeling and the magician is Aries Gemini energy. Um, I'm getting the feeling of someone being very, very confident and very aloof is the word that's coming to my mind. Um, <clears throat> and it's part of the allure of this person, like there's a mystery around them. And um, I 
I just get the feeling of someone being untouchable or acting untouchable, um, uncommittable, because someone remains aloof, remains free to whatever extent, this keeps others invested and interested. Hmm. I get a fun energy, someone wanting to have fun or having fun, just looking for like no strings attached, fun. Let me know how that resonates, if it does resonate. I'm hearing, oh gosh, and I even got background music, but I'm hearing from the Cruel Intentions soundtrack. Oh my gosh, it might be Marcy Playground. I don't know, I don't think they were on that soundtrack. I can't think of the group's name, but it, it's the song, it's like, you turned me on and blew me off. She turned me on and blew me off. It's like getting someone all, all up and hot and interested and then like not giving them what they want there's someone here who knows the power of like sexuality of their sexuality um Pentacles. Someone holds this like special power. Could be sexual, emotional, some sort of dominance. But this is what is wanted. And this is what someone knows they have. They there look at how confident she is holding up that that pentacle. <clears throat> Someone like knows they're a prize. I'm really getting this is internal, like the I am a ace of pentacles. I mean, of the four, I would say it's probably the most valuable. It's literally energy, wealth, material things. Three of Swords reverse the star I the sun oh my god I was just about to say cuz someone has weathered some storms someone has been through some serious heartbreaks letdowns um they've been through it they've been through the storm they've been through the trenches they've they've seen lows and they've healed and have come back from it and are in this Ace of Cups, much better place. Healed happiness is, is what's coming to my mind. This could be the noticeable change in someone. Like, someone has made it through some obstacles and storms and has, like, followed... <laughs> It could be a dream. It could be like followed this opportunity, believed in themselves, continued, pushed through. And it's like coming out on the other side. Wow. King of Swords just fell out. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. An air sign, which is, this is air sign energy, was just in... Um, the index decks so this could really be speaking to an air sign oh, we got a libra right here and as my jaw goes all over all over justice eight of wands reversed the magician reversed which i'd already seen this card in another deck gemini aries energy more air energy 
<clears throat> maybe this is something happening right now because this is Aquarius season. This to me is getting lied to. Justice reverse, Eight of Wands reverse, and then the Magician reverse. Like, hello, tell me a liar. Like, everything out of someone's mouth is not the truth. Is bu is bullshit. This is all I can think of. It. Knight of Swords. I feel like this is whoever is that energy I was saying right in the beginning, like knows their value, like knows um, themselves. This is the person who's been through shit and has um, come out stronger and wiser and... Um, It's either you, the, you, someone feels this way confidently about themselves or this is the way they view you, but someone is like an absolute 10, like an absolute 10. Business-wise, financially, um, managerial, managerially, that just came to my head. I don't even know if that's a word. And then like in looks too, like good looking, Wow, four of wands reverse just popped out. Queen of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune. Six of Cups. The Lovers reverse. Gemini energy. Ten of Cups reversed. Someone has very high standards of what they want and are looking for or like, um, I'm starting to get, this is like someone's dream, something that they think about and they imagine and they want this to happen. It's this white picket fence life with the dog and the kids and the house and hosting get togethers, having Christmases there. Like, someone's been holding on to this. And I get the feeling of someone having tried to find this type of, um, <clears throat> background noise trying to find these this type of happiness and success for a while or they've tried to do this in the past and it failed I also want to say like this could be something job related like someone always wanted like this is their dream job and um I get the feeling of like another chance or opportunity at something or someone and like it's no longer just for fun and love and like puppy dog love and um, making friends or like this is something that's of value. Someone is approaching this connection or situation much differently than they had in the past I get a feeling of like it's almost like manifesting an opportunity like if you um six of swords reversed king of pentacles reversed Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Three of Pentacles. 
Judgment Reverse just kind of slid out weird. Eight of Swords Reverse, Seven of Cups, Ten of Wands, The High Priestess Reverse, Pisces Energy. I feel like this is a connection. Six of Cups Reversed. Three of Wands, King of Pentacles reversed. Not, I keep thinking this is um, either job related or love related, but it's an opportunity to do something again that failed in the past, that may have really hurt someone, broke someone down, that this failed in the past. And now this time it's happening, it's like again, it's... It's a chance to do this again. It's a chance to try to get it right this time. It's a chance to... Um, this could tie in with this noticeable change. Like, it could be a, something that you've done before, but this time it's different. Two of Pentacles. And I saw this card specifically earlier. And this would signify something else, like doing it again, the lovers reverse, Gemini energy, two of swords reverse, strength, Leo energy, um, the fool reversed, this right here could be could be someone not wanting, not knowing what they want to do when it comes to like um, ever getting married again. Um, it's something that I, I get the feeling of. Um, Someone really having a heart broken, their heart broken, broken, with a disconnection and um, not wondering if they ever want to be that that committed. Yes, yes, because the six of cups is here, and that's a friendship card, and then the four of wands are here. That's like taking it from maybe friendship to dating, or it could be dating long-term to marriage, and someone can't make up their mind about that. The emperor reversed. Could be the masculine figure in the said connection, if this is what it's about. Two of wands, page of wands, 10 of swords reversed, knight of cups, knight of pentacles, Four of Pentacles. I feel like I've kind of mentioned this in a reading recently, and that's the only reason why I'm thinking about it. But I feel like I've talked about readings like this opportunity is here again, where like this could be someone that I could commit to and have a long standing commitment to. But the last time I went through this and the last time I did it, I was totally heartbroken and it was terrible and someone walked away from the other and um, it's almost the feeling of not knowing if you can meet someone where with what they're looking for. Now, if this is job related, it's like their qualifications and what they're looking for from you is not where you're at. And making a decision if you want to make yourself qualified for everything that they're looking for because that would mean a long commitment to this. The sun reversed, Leo energy, the hanged one. I feel like someone's really skeptical or unsure about what's right in front of them. I don't know if it's the relationship or the job, but it's like 
King of Cups reverse, Nine of Cups, Ace of Cups, Queen of Cups is here, Knight of Wands. It's, it's giving me like someone is feeling all the feelings and like they're happy. There's something about this situation, this love or whatever that's, it looks good. It seems better than what they've had in the past. But, oh my God, with the lovers at the bottom. And we've only been seeing the lovers reversed. It's like someone recognizes that this is good, but it's like, why? Why are they so stuck? Why are they so indecisive? Why? Um, why are they like denying how happy this makes them? You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, an emperor reversed, that's not someone who's standing ten toes down like they're indecisive. It doesn't have to be the masculine. Indecisive about success, indecisive about if this is what they want to be successful with. Because the offer is here. The, the job is here. The, the person is here. Knight of Wands reversed. Ace of Swords reverse, Queen of Cups. Moon reverse just fell out, Cancer. Wow. Wow. I just have to read this, how I'm like wicked deep in this deck, but I was just reading it as like one or two words. I'm starting to give the feeling, uh, get the feeling of like not being able to give what someone's looking for, whether it's at a job or in a relationship. And it's like they know or someone knows that this other person is looking for you, for them to come after and do this, to um, fight for it, to go for it, to get it. And um, it's like this other energy doesn't know if this is where it wants or this is what it wants, I guess. Doesn't know if this is where it wants to put its energy, going back to the Magician Reverse and Two of Pentacles. If this is where they wanna put their energy, if this is what they wanna do, if this is who they wanna be with, because what what's not being said, I'm just gonna go through this, what's not being said is that they would like to move forward, move on, not be together, not return. 
Um, they think they don't want to get married again. They don't want that commitment. They know that that would mean saying goodbye to the connection because, but someone would move on still looking for the relationship and the successful job where they, they'll get what they're looking for once they free themselves from the breadcrumbs that they've been receiving and the shared energy. Once they move on, they'll get what they want, which brings us back to the very beginning, the Ace of Pentacles. And what they want is that perfect connection and a harmonious um, feeling of placement, whether it's at work or in a relationship. Temperance reversed is here, Sag energy. Someone may be done waiting. Someone may feel like they've put in enough work to this. And, um, yeah. I'm going to end it here. Um, I just get the sense of these two energies. One having, like, so, like I don't know how to describe this other than, like, like this, the first card. Someone standing, holding something. Like, here you go. I know you want this. Come on. Whatever this is. Maybe this is a uh, full-time job where you're only part-time now or they it's um moving up at a company or something that you know you they know you want it you they want you to want it and they're they're dangling it come on fight for it come on and this is such a weird analogy but this is just how I'm seeing it the other energy has it in them to fight for something, to go after it, to chase it. It's in them to do that. But they don't know if this is what they want to go chasing after. They don't know if... Should I be putting in all this extra effort? Like, Because I know if I start putting in all this extra effort and I pay for this and I show them this and I, I'm doing that, I know I'll be chasing after getting what they want from me, which is me going and giving them the energy towards this. But is this really where I want to be spending my money and furthering myself? Is it really on this path? If it's love related, it's knowing like your partner wants something more committed or has talked about something more committed and they want to see the other meet them and rise to the level of like, yeah, now we're going to do this or take this step, whether it's moving in together, engagement could just be like being mutual together. Um, being an official couple, like wanting to take that step. And someone is hesitant about if this is the actual step that they want to take with this person. And um, I feel like I'm just going to read it as like if someone does decide to stop waiting for someone to rise to the occasion to come get what they're dangling and want to see them fight for. I feel like there's an energy here. If you once you stop with this and you go somewhere else, it's going to be like completely different. It's going to match much faster, quicker with less. Um, I'm seeing so many swords with less like sh strife is the word that's coming in mind. Uh, all right, collective, let me know how it resonates. I wish you a healthy, happy next week's couple weeks or so. Don't forget to check out the other signs in your chart and I will talk to you soon.